On the right, I've got Siri running Apple Intelligence on my iPhone 15, freshly updated to the latest iOS 8.1 beta. While on the left, I have Gemini Advance running on my Google Pixel 8. Today I'm going to put them to the test by asking 50 of the same commands simultaneously and from there we should get a good idea of how each perform, how fast they respond, and which one provides the better responses. This should also give us a pretty good idea of which AI voice assistant is the top dog right now. Just remember that both of these are still in their early stages, especially Apple Intelligence being released just last month, so there's still plenty of growing. On top of that, there are plenty of features that aren't live yet. And what we see today can look very different a few months down the line. But hey, it'll still be interesting to see how each stacks up against the other. So let's start it off with some more complex commands. First up, image generation. Generate a picture of a horse in the middle of a mountain. So as you can see, Gemini was able to generate new pictures from scratch while Siri just pulled up images from the web. No image generation on the iPhone just yet, but Apple has teased a new tool called Image Playground, and that should be coming soon. Maybe you're in the market for a new phone, but can't decide between two models. Let's try this. Compare the Galaxy S24 Ultra against the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now let's see how these assistants handle a command where I stumble over my words or correct myself midway through. Set a timer for 20 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes. I mean, eight minutes. Here, Apple Assistant did a much better job following my corrections, while Gemini only caught the first mistakes and didn't give me enough time to fix the last one. Now let's test how they handle multiple commands at once. What's the weather in my area? And also what time is it in Alaska? And who's the tallest man on earth? This time, Siri was the one that couldn't handle multiple commands at once, while Gemini was able to answer everything without a problem. Now let's try a command that I would ask if I were hungry and I needed some ideas on what to make based on what I have in my fridge. In my fridge, I have yogurt, eggs, tomatoes, chicken, and strawberries. Create a recipe with these ingredients. So there you have it. Jim and I provided a nice recipe while Siri did a Google search. And by the way, as of right now, it seems to be a common theme for Siri just to bring up a Google search. Now let's try some follow-up commands to see how well each assistant handles ongoing conversations. What is the capital of Argentina? What time is it there? Plan me a two week trip there. Here, Gemini did a much better job of going above and beyond to plan me a two week trip to Argentina but I do appreciate how Siri replied a lot faster and didn't require me to tap the microphone multiple times just to answer the next question. It made talking to it flow a lot easier. When it comes to music, there are also multiple ways these assistants can help out. Play the SimSims theme song. Like this song. And when you're curious about a song playing in the background, here's how they handle that. What song is playing in the background? So Siri uses Shazam, while Gemini uses Google Assistant's music recognition feature. Both did just fine. Now let's throw a little bit of everything at them. My brother's birthday is on May 5th, but remind me in two weeks before that that his birthday is coming up so that way I can get him a gift. My brother's birthday is coming up. 
Okay, I'll remind you on April 21st, 2025 that your brother's birthday is coming up. Give me some gift ideas for my brother. Here are some gift ideas for your brother, catering to different interests. Create a gift list for David and add a gaming mouse to that list. Okay, list created. Remind me to get a gaming mouse for David next time I'm at the mall. Okay, I'll remind you to get a gaming mouse for David next time you're at the mall. Instead of reaching out to customer support, let's see if these AI assistants can help you with any problems or questions you may have with your phone. What was my Wi-Fi password again? How do you change the wallpaper on this phone? Show me some cool wallpapers I can use. Help me save battery on my phone. Turn off Bluetooth. Download Angry Birds 2. For those of you who are still in school, let's see if they can also be of any assistance when you're doing homework or research papers. If x plus 3 equals negative 9, what is x? Write me an essay on the current state of the economy right now. Find me some online articles that I can use to source within my research paper about algorithm analysis. And of course, summarization and basically app integration is a big deal with AI, and both of these assistants handle it differently. On iOS, Apple includes a summarization button in some of their apps. For example, in Safari, you can open an article, switch to reader mode, and a summarize button pops up at the top for a quick recap. The same feature appears in the Mail app for summarizing threads, and in the future, Apple Intelligence will even summarize notifications for you. On the Android side, Gemini also pops up randomly within some Google apps to let you manage the app a lot easier. But I also enjoy that it allows you to easily attach websites, links, or even a screenshot to further expand on that topic within the Gemini menu. For instance, when I'm reading an article in my browser, I can pull up the Gemini Assistant and then just tell it to summarize it. What's even cooler is that I can open YouTube, launch Gemini, and tap on Ask About This Video to get information without needing to watch it. For example, in this waveform clip where Marcus and his team talk about their favorite products, I can simply ask Gemini to list the products mentioned in the video and it'll tell me. Now let's ask these voice assistants some everyday questions. How much time did I spend on my phone today? How long did I use Instagram for? Show me my emails from Best Buy. What does my schedule look like? Open Instagram. Save my parking location and remember that I park next to a mailbox. Where did I park? Roll a 20-sided dice. Show me pictures from my Las Vegas trip.
Get me customer support for Samsung. Show me Apple stock. Read me the audiobook, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. The Grinch, a grumpy creature living north of Whoville, despises Christmas with a heart two sizes too small. List some of the best restaurants around me. Here are some of the best restaurants around you. How much is gas right now? How do you say, where is the bathroom in Chinese? How many calories are in a large Big Mac combo? How's the traffic to LA? Navigate there. Who's the last person to text me? Who's the last person to call me? How do you spell abracadabra? Abracadabra. What movies are playing in theaters now? What is a 15% tip on a $43 meal? And finally, let's ask them some playful and fun commands. Rap for me. This should be a juicy one. It was all a dream, this virtual assistant scheme. Texting your gym jams flexing in my subroutines. Tell me a dad joke. Surprise me with a fun fact. Who's the best AI assistant? Sorry, I don't understand. The best AI assistant depends on your specific needs and preferences. Here's a quick comparison to help you choose. So that's how Google Gemini and Apple Intelligence stack up against each other as of right now. If I had to pick the better option right now, I'd go with Gemini. It gave me more detailed responses, provided a cleaner format in some scenarios, and was able to answer more questions instead of just telling me to Google it. With iOS, it's pretty clear that Apple intelligence isn't fully ready or mostly out yet, and I'm sure a few months down the line, it'll be a much tougher opponent to compete against. However, it's still pretty impressive to see how much faster it can answer certain questions over Gemini. Plus, it does a way better job of handling mistakes and allowing for interruptions to occur. It'll be interesting to see how powerful these assistants get in the coming months. I'll definitely do an updated video once they're more stable and feature packed. Drop a command suggestion in the comments for that future video and I'll definitely consider it. And don't forget to subscribe so that way you don't miss out on that future video and any other fun tech videos that I release. Thanks for sticking to the end and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!